I'm gonna head down to Colorado. I don't really have uh, too much of a plan, but uh, never really been there. So I'm just gonna go see what Colorado has to offer. Got to this spot here in Twin Falls, Idaho. It has a uh, kind of an overlook of the entire city. There's a few other people camping over here. Um, they all have some really nice sprinters and Ford Transits and stuff, but they don't have this bad boy. Hopefully in the morning though, I'll get into Utah and do something fun. Pulled in pretty late last night, so I didn't really get a good idea of the surroundings, but I woke up and found that I'm right in front of this big canyon here, the uh, Snake River. Um, there's like a huge waterfall, a couple other waterfalls on the other side. Um, like a like a rock formation park type of area. Seems like some pretty cool hiking around here. Yeah, apparently on the other side there, not Evil Knievel did some kind of like rocket jump um, across the Snake River Canyon here. Um, so they said it was an attempt on Wikipedia. I'm not just, so he might have not made it across the river. I'm not sure what happened to Evil Knievel. I'm not sure about his death, but that's a pretty far jump to make, especially for something that was called an attempt. I pulled into Arches just about an hour ago. I'm going to go on this hike that's at the end of the park. It has a uh, pine tree arch, tunnel arch, double O arch, uh, plenty of arches. It's supposed to be one of the more difficult hikes on the in the park. But uh, yeah, I'm just making some chicken quesadillas before I go on this semi strenuous hike. Hmm. It's pretty good. Greasy. So I got a little lost here. Hopefully this is the right way to go. This trail really is all over the place. This is the first time I've actually liked seeing Karen's. Hello! Got into Colorado yesterday and went to the, the valley of the Gunnison National Park or something like that. I don't know. It's like a huge valley, kind of like the um, Grand Canyon. I've never heard of this place before, but when I pulled in, it was pretty impressive. So I just uh, camped out at the BLM spot, kind of south of the park entrance free spot, pretty cool. Today I'm going to hike down into the lower valley. Uh, 
apparently it's not like an established trail or anything. They were saying that it's going to be pretty much scrambling and crawling along rocks and that type of stuff. There's some parts where you hold on to cables and seems pretty cool. So gonna check that out. And the valley at the Black Gunnison National Park is one of the most recent national parks. It's only about 16 years old. Heading out for the hike. So this path seems to be all these stone switchbacks. Not super interesting, so I thought I'd tell the story of the first time that I uh, really kind of backpacked solo, my first hiking adventure. Um, I was 23, I had graduated from college about, uh, about a year earlier, and uh, I couldn't really find a job. Um, this was just at the height of the recession. Couldn't even get a job at Domino's because my hair was too long as a man. So, how things have changed. Um, so I got a job doing underground construction, holding stop signs, and uh, did that for $9 an hour until I got a promotion to $10 an hour for shoveling uh, dirt and building trenches in the Pacific Northwest rain. Um, but nonetheless, I saved up about $1,200 and I went to Europe for four months on that little amount of money. Seems kind of crazy that I'd be able to make that work these days, but I did that. Um, so I, I got there and I worked on this farm France for about three weeks and then I had scheduled another farm to work on in southern Spain for another three weeks. That one didn't end as well but there was about a three week period between these two farms so I decided well I'll just hike there. <laughs> I didn't want to spend the uh, 20 euros for the bus which was a lot at the time so I decided I got a book on uh, hiking the Pyrenees and I head out. But at that time, I had a, thought I was going to be doing work or something, even though I didn't really have an established business at the time. So I had my laptop, my drawing tablet, um, my iPad, as well as my skateboard, and just all of these incredibly heavy things in kind of like an old backpacking backpack. So I, uh, I took off from northern Spain and I crossed the Pyrenees and it was extremely tough. I didn't have, I didn't really know anything about backpacking. I, looking back, it's just a very funny thing to do. I, I had my skate shoes on and a 
80 pound backpack filled with computer stuff. And as I recall, um, the first day I had brought maybe a small sandwich that I made and barely any water and some bread and jam. I did about seven miles and I was just completely exhausted and dehydrated and had to sleep in um, something called a cabana. And in my mind, a cabana was going to be like a really cool spot with like monkey butlers waiting for me and tropical drinks. It seemed kind of strange for the top of a mountain, but that's what the map said. So I finally got to this cabana and um, yeah, to my surprise, it was just kind of a rundown shack. And as I recall, it didn't even really have a top to it and it was overrun with spiders and it was pretty miserable looking. So that was a bummer because I needed to resupply there. I don't know why I thought I could resupply there, but that was the case. Um, I hiked another three miles and it was getting to the end of the day. I'd only done 10 miles and uh, I didn't have any food, barely any water. And now my stomach was getting extremely upset. Pretty sure that's from the old cheese that I've been eating. And so uh, I was getting bitten up like crazy by mosquitoes. I had very little food and water. I think that I only ate two pieces of bread and some jam for that night. And uh, yeah, just went to bed feeling miserable. Extremely dehydrated the next day, of course. Extremely hungry. Uh, that, that day I, I had um, planned even less. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought if I just didn't eat food or, <laughs> or whatever, because the food was upsetting my stomach, which I'm now thinking I probably just had extreme dehydration. Got to a town called Farage or something like that in Southern France and immediately just hailed a, a car after having a grueling hike uh, through the Pyrenees. And um, yeah, that was, that was my first real backpacking trip. It was supposed to be a uh, 10 day, it turned out to be more of a two and a half to three day. 